Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Morning Club. Grab yourself a little drink of choice. Welcome to beautiful Monday. I've got my little um, spotty cup here. I've got coffee in this one. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. And I've got lemon and ginger in this one, actually fresh. No, I haven't. Ginger and honey in this one. So when you come in, pop on in. This in the chat say where you're coming from give us a bit of a sparkle and love for this beautiful monday in the morning club we've got beautiful rachel hi good morning rachel how are you today let's share a coffee and a chat good morning colleen how are you today we're coming in this morning with a bit of zap of energy from my world to yours and let's create personal sanctuary and space today that's what we're going to talk about this morning, personal sanctuary and space. You know, life can get messy, can't it? It can get overwhelming. It can get your um, self-intolerance can set in. You don't know where to start or what to think. So what's a good starting point? Well, a good starting point is now. And you're never going to be ready for anything, really. So the point is start now and let's create some personal sanctuary and some emotional and mental space to exist in. So welcome to the Morning Club. Beautiful Monday today, just after Mother's Day. Do we all have a good Mother's Day? There's lots of amazing, magical mothers out there. Mothers of human babies, human adults, fur babies, canine babies feline babies, plant babies. So a happy magical Mother's Day to everybody. I hope you had a prosperous and relaxing day. I certainly did. So I had such a relaxing day, I didn't even get to um, do my little mini review. So this morning I'm sitting down with my personal diary, my work diary and my journal. So I'm creating some sanctuary personal sanctuary today by getting into a little review of how I went last week so how I went uh, mentally and emotionally how I went in my businesses how I went being on point with my goals so that's creating focus for myself I'm unmessing the mess whatever that looks like in our human brains we always have some type of mess don't we so what to think and where to go Sometimes lists can be overwhelming. So let's have a little look here. Colleen, absolutely good morning. And Rachel said, my cat's got me chocolate. Oh, I love it. So the feline fur baby's got you chocolate. I love it. And Colleen said, Reese spoilt me. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad you had a day of spoiling, Colleen. So let's today make and help every, uh, hello to everybody else out there in the morning club and for those who are streaming in if you haven't already um, given a bit of love down here give us a bit of love and share the stream if you haven't that would be amazing we can send some sparkle to others in the world as well so getting into my diary this morning and creating some personal sanctuary so a little self mini review and then <clears throat> we rise above ourselves a good little tip is to have a topographical view like you're looking at a map so look at our map of last week. How did we go? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was great. We had a bit of a bit of time off, which was amazing. So how did we go looking at a geographical view? Now, it's not only work. It's what are we up to in the morning? Did we fulfill our morning routine? Have we fulfilled our evening routine? I'm just sitting here with a fan on me because it's a bit hot in here today. Am I on point with my goals? Am I on point with my investment goals, my financial income goals? Have I done my revenue raising activities in my business, businesses? Uh, what was successful, what wasn't, what I'm happy with? What would my best friend tell me? Give some advice to yourself. So we're looking at ourselves from a topographical view. So what guides you? So let me know guys in the chat, what is guiding you at the moment? So let's go inward to our heart and let's see the real you. 
let your heart guide you. So what, what's guiding you? Can you let me know in the chat what's guiding you guys at the moment? Sometimes what can guide us, when we're in our negative self, what can guide us is our own personal chit-chat of the brain. I can't do that. It's not time. I'm not ready. I'm not worthy. All these things. I'm guilty. I'm poor. I can't do that because I've got no money. You know, all these things do come up in our human brains. So when we're guided from our higher self, and Rachel says self-care, absolutely. So being guided by your heart and what reflects from your heart into your life. So morning routines, routines, little steps forward, non-self-punishment, so living in the higher self, being proud of yourself, letting, working through, you know, personally developing a way out of the guilt. Essential oils might guide you. So we've got, what have I got here? This, the, um, I've got Balance Me Hormonal Balance today. Bergamot, Rose Geranium Patchouli. Oh, Rachel, Patchouli. Lang Lang, Juniper Berry and Frankincense. So amazing. So I put that on my little temples, on my wrists, on top of my chest there. So essential oils for balance is guiding me today. My own self-worth is guiding me. My goals are guiding me. Absolutely self-care. I'm going to have a bath today, Rachel. And had started the day with a walk on the beach and our sunrise yoga. And it wasn't a massive, big, you know, event. It was a little sit on the beach, stand on the beach, do a bit of yoga in the middle of walking herring. So I love that. So welcome everybody to the morning club. Um, those who aren't present, Debbie and Natalie, if you're here, um, Denise and Cindy and Bianca and Colleen is daily planning is guiding me. Absolutely. Catherine's from St. Lawrence. What's guiding you, Catherine, if you're there? I love daily planning. Me too. So that's why I've got my diary out. So what I'm doing is not, I've clearly got this week sorted, but coming into Monday, how can I zhuzh Monday up to make it super amazing for myself? Likewise, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week. What am I doing to put in? I've got a lot of reports to write this week. And not only work things, you know, I've um, put in a little bit of meditation before yoga tonight and Wednesday. I've got a couple of evening meetings. I've got a couple of new associates starting with me. All these amazing things. So what am I doing during the week to zhuzh up my week? Got a couple of investment things going on. Do a little bit of cookie. I want to make some more lime jam. So I'm going to make sure I get those things in. And what guides me is doing my cards in the morning. So I sit down and I get my little cards out, as you know. And I do a little bit of self-guidance. Now this morning, very interesting. Hello to beautiful Catherine. Welcome. Grab yourself a little cuppa and let's have a little chat shall we so what's guiding you Catherine what guides you through each and every day and do you do a little weekly self-review to guide you through the important things for the coming week things that you need to implement maybe that you didn't last week or things that you would like to do that you haven't done yet so this morning I was inspired by the beautiful Natalie here. She sends me a card each morning and also Danny Middendorp, my our daughter in Brisbane. She sent a whole bunch of cards to me. So I love how I'm going to sit down after this stream. I've got a few calls to do to America and then um, I'm going to sit down and just work through the little guidance that our daughter has offered me today. I feel there's something valuable in there. I can feel it coming. So grab yourself your spotty cup. And Colleen's got her spotty cup. And I know Jenna out there, you've got a spotty cup. Rachel, have you got a spotty cup? What about Catherine? We are the troop of spotty cups. The spotty cup club. I love it. Hey, let's make that a thing though. It's a good title for a book. Good morning, Cindy. How are you, Lucinda? 
and she wished she could watch his about to drive well you can listen to my voice absolutely and you can also catch it on recording as well we have a lovely uh teacher of ales in our morning club bianca and she catches this at lunch time rachel hasn't got a spotty cup okay we need to get you a spotty cup so we're talking about personal sanctuary creating personal sanctuary and emotional and heartfelt space in our day if we can put that into each day this week <clears throat> we'll be a lot more emotionally enlightened than we would have had if we didn't implement this and Catherine says I had no plan since August last year but I'm feeling inspired yay look at you inspiration and plans moving forward so let's plan guys but let's plan our personal sanctuary and emotional space first so one very good way to cleanse ourselves is with water. So if we purposely, I had years and years of having a shower in a rush. So I would come home from clinical work, 12, 14 hour days, walk in the door like a slug. I literally, I felt like I was crawling in, shove something down my throat, which was a bit of food, how... Oh, less on point was that and then hop in the shower for a probably a two minute shower just because I had to because I was hot and sticky and sweaty not enjoyable at all so the magic of water walking on the beach every morning and putting my feet in the water if you don't have that you could put a little tub of water with some marbles in the bottom and a bit of essential oil so when you put your feet in the water on top of the marbles you can run your feet across the marbles amazing feeling so drinking water be mindful when you're drinking the water that it's cleansing you and you have a little mantra i'm enjoying my personal sanctuary you can sit outside like kids you know sprinkle some water from the um, garden hose over yourself whatever that looks like to you put a face mask on and then splash your face with water to wash it off and catherine said no spots here <laughs> the spotty the spotty cup club I love it so water and then also an alpha brain journey so not only mindfulness and meditation quiet time consideration time whatever you would like to call that your personal sanctuary and space can be generated in your mind by an alpha brain wave now what that is we have many brain waves of the brain beta brain is what we're in at the moment we are conscious and um, actively doing something we're talking and then the alpha brain is a more uh, calm, relaxed, when you're nearly asleep. So you know when you're asleep and get that twitch, feel like you're falling, that's the alpha brain. And it feels very different to be active in the alpha brain. And we humans are about one and a half to two and a half minutes a day when we're going to sleep. So we're becoming relaxed and just before we're not off to sleep, that's the alpha, alpha brain wave. So now, in a few seconds, I'm going to put you in an alpha brainwave and you see how different it feels. So just take a moment, Cindy, Lucinda, obviously you're driving, so don't close your eyes. But what you can think and feel, you don't have to have your eyes closed, just start listening to the sounds around you. So what can you hear? I just want you to identify three sounds. And as you identify these three sounds, I want you to gently inhale. So take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose. A bit deeper and out through your mouth. Just feel your body becoming relaxed. So now I want you to just envision yourself, even though Lucinda's driving, envision yourself while you're concentrating on a rocky road. So you are standing on a rocky road and you are comfortably clothed. Now take a walk with me along the rocky road and you notice an old wooden footbridge in front of you and that winds and bends into the old canopy growth of a rainforest. So let's walk upon the old bridge and you can feel your foot falling on the old wood you can hear the creek, but you know you're safe. 
and you can hear the water flowing underneath. So just grab onto the railing to the right hand side and hang onto it and you notice the wood is wet from the rain the night before. And now you notice a large blue Ulysses butterfly flying in and she comes and lands on the back of your hand. Just notice how beautiful she is as she wiggles her wings and feel her feet tickling the back of your hand. Just notice how gorgeous she is and how precious life is and that you are connecting with nature. And now notice as she flies away. Now walk with me over the bridge and under the canopy of the rainforest. So the feeling of the sun on your back disappears and you notice the cool sensation of the rainforest. And you can smell beautiful tropical flowers, maybe orchids in bloom and you see a shaft of light that's coming in from the top of the canopy and landing right at your feet. And you can hear the forest creatures scuttling around you. Now we begin to walk and we turn to the right again. And you see a little inlet of the creek that we just walked over. So let's walk up to it and kick our shoes off, and put our feet in the cool water. You can hear the water as it trickles over the rocks. Now you notice a large boulder in the centre. Let's splash through the water and make our way to the boulder. And you notice a nice flat surface. So let's take a seat and sit down on the big rock. And now we are surprised at how comfortable it is. And as we sit there, we notice all the other blue butterflies that are flying around. And the beautiful smell that's in the air. <clears throat> You are now in your alpha brain. Just imagine a green glowing in your chest, sparkling effervescent green around your heart. This is your heart center, the root chakra, the base of your soul. This is where personal sanctuary and your own calm space is. You're now in your alpha brain. How are you feeling guys? I know Lucinda can't answer, but how is everybody else? Colleen, Rachel, Catherine? How is everybody feeling in the alpha brain? So personal sanctuary and your own calm space. If we can exist more in this space daily, our heart will reflect the real us. So what guides you? Your own heart can guide yourself. Rachel feels nice and relaxed. Now with that, let's do a little card, shall we? <clears throat> so who would like a card today? I'm going to use the Moonology cards today. I really like those. I've been sitting with them this morning just at sunrise. I actually took them down the beach with me this morning as we sat there doing yoga. So everyone feels relaxed? Good. So sweet Rachel would like a card. Let's do a card. Rachel. I love it. A new start is coming. <clears throat> There's very clear messages, Rachel, about your new start, isn't there? And Colleen feels calm. Good. A new start is coming, Rachel. Let's get some direction for you. Oh, and your loved ones are safe. I love that. So that's a nice message for Rachel this morning. So be ready for your new start, Rachel. It's all coming your way. Yeah, big smiles. Yay. Let's celebrate Rachel's new start. Woohoo. Bit of love for Rachel. Come on, guys. New start is coming. I'm excited for... Oh, there's lots of cards just fell on the floor. Oh, my goodness. Maybe they're for you, Rachel, still. We still haven't finished with Rachel. Let me get the cards. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's see what came up for you, Rachel. Conclusions. What does it say? Conclusions are within each. A oh, reach, pardon me. And nothing is set in stone. And communication is the key. And the end of a rough cycle approaches. Oh, I love that, Rachel. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad they all jumped out. 
So that's clarity and guidance for Rachel. Woohoo! I love it. So, um, let's move on to Colleen. Let's, yeah, I know. <laughs> awesome, Rachel. Lots of hearts for Rachel. So, Colleen, some cards for Colleen. Alrighty. Colleen, you are good enough. You're good enough, girl. I love it. Work through your fears. And confidence is the key to your success. So let's celebrate Colleen's confidence. So your personal sanctuary and space, Colleen, is through confidence, which I think Colleen's confidence, I feel like, is coming back pretty quickly in a, in a mega rush, actually, and that's within the planning, I think. So keep going, Colleen. Amazing. Who else would like a card? I'm sure Catherine would like a card. Let's do some cards for Catherine. Look at the bigger picture, Catherine. So look at the big picture. I know it's with insight. And your dreams need a practical plan. I love that. Well, before August, um, Catherine just said before she didn't have a plan. Excellent. So practical plans. So let's do... Who else do we have? Who else is on like that would like a card? Lucinda? Let's do a card... For Lucinda, and then we'll do one for Chet as well. Hey, let's do that. So, Lucinda, your commitment is being tested at the moment. Oh, I bet it is. So, Lucinda's commitment is being tested, and more meditation and contemplation. So, a little bit more thinking about it and thinking about your personal sanctuary. And have your heart reflecting the real you, Luce. I love it. So Rachel's had a card. Colleen's had a card. Let's do one. Who else is in our morning club? How about Denise? Denise has gone to her new job today. So let's do a card. Have faith in your dreams, Denise. I love it. You had that the other way, the other day too. And let's do one for Cindy Rack, another Lucinda. Cindy Rack, let's do a card for you. Cindy, you are good enough. And there is a situation that nothing will become of that. That's interesting. So maybe let that guide you. I love it. And, oh, a silver orb has appeared on your forehead on my screen. Oh, really? Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you, Colleen. Oh, all the stuff is happening today. Let's do a card for Jenna McNamara. She's in our morning club. Nothing is set in stone, Jenna. So make some changes now, I would. And communication is the key. I love it. Let's do one for Debbie. Debbie Hearn and Natalie Fitzgerald. Let's do one for them, wherever they may be this morning. Debbie, the answers you need are coming. <coughs> Where's that? The answers you need are coming. And another one for Debbie. A personal issue reaches resolution. Oh, and here she is. Oh, hi. Good morning, Debbie. We were just talking about you. Perfect timing. So your cards this morning, Debbie, are the answers you need are coming and a personal issue reaches a resolution. Oh, I love that. It's a lot of closing closing the doors and opening new ones, I think, Debbie. That's exciting. And let's do one for Nat. Can you tag Nat in this? It is wonderful timing. Look at that. Right on key. Also for Natalie, confidence is the key. And I know this is in reference to what's happening in a few weeks. So, confidence is the key, Nat. And another one for Natalie. Be bold and make the first move. So, there's something that requires you to make the new move. I love that. Let's do one for Robin, shall we? Debbie, Robin Valiagra. <clears throat> oh, a new start is coming too. Robin newness around i love it 
I feel in the form of business. There's new business coming, Robin. Oh, I love that. That's perfect. What about Bianca? This is for you, Bianca Newell. And a new start is coming too. There's a lot of newness are in the moon at the moment. Bianca, a new start is coming. <clears throat> I love that. Right. Who else would like a card this morning, do you think? We're talking about personal sanctuary and space. A new business, cool. So a new business for Robin. I felt that, absolutely. <clears throat> so let's get out of the messiness, get out of our own head, the chaos. Where do we start? What do we think of first? So know that my heart reflects the real me. Let your heart guide you. So get into the alpha brain for your personal sanctuary and space. Let's do a card for Josie. I've been here shuffling cards. A personal issue reaches resolution, Josie. And the answers you need are coming. So Josie's answers are on their way. Perfect. And let's do one for Kerry Smith. Kerry, this is for you. <clears throat> Kerry Smith. Time to step out of your comfort zone, Kerry. Kerry Smith, get out of your comfort zone, girl. It's time to take a breath out. So take time to breathe out. So not only inhale, exhale. And a personal issue reaches a resolution. That's for you, Kerry Smith. There's a lot of resolutions and new starts this morning. I love it. The card for Josie, you've done that, and Chris and Sharon. Chris and Sharon, is that two people or one? You're welcome, Debbie. Chris, let's do Chris and Sharon. Time to take action. There's something Chris and Sharon have been putting off. Well, pardon me saying, take your finger out, Chris and Sharon, and get it done. That's all I can say. Oh, just Sharon. Oh, there you go. Sharon, finger out time. Ah! <laughs> I love it. Ah, that's hilarious. All right, let's do a little theme for the day, shall we? Other than personal sanctuary. <laughs> Debbie's laughing. What's a laughing space? Perfect. Now, everybody, you're very close to achieving your goals. Let's go for gold, shall we? Let's go for those goals. I so love that. So everybody have an amazing day. Let me think about what you think about your card by this morning. Uh, this morning. Grab yourself your little drink of choice. Colleen Stewart. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. So, where was our card? Oh. Balance and spirituality as well. Excellent, I love that. So let's balance our spirituality, have personal sanctuary in space inside our own hearts. Let's reflect that out. So be extremely generous. And thank you, Colleen, for my Mother's Day um, flowers. They're amazing. I've got them in the middle of our coffee table. They are absolutely beautiful. My neighbour came over yesterday and said, oh, look at you, really spoiled. So thank you very much, Colleen. Um, accepted with amazing love and gratitude. And Ange, good morning, Ange. How are you? Let's do a card for Ange while we're here. Perfect timing, Ange. We're bringing personal sanctuary, excuse me, I've got to itch your nose, personal sanctuary and space into our day. And knowing what guides us from our heart. So would you like a card, Ange? We're doing some cards. We we're just about to sign off. That's perfect timing. So let's do one for Angela Oliver. Beautiful Ange. Let's see what's coming up for you. Okay. There's a situation. Nothing will become of this situation. And you are good enough, Ange. You are good enough. I love that. And one more for Ange. Work through your fears. Love it. So there's a little sting in your tail there. Fantastic. So work through those 
and let's embrace our own personal sanctuary space today. Mwah. So thank you so much, guys, for joining me here on The Morning Club. We meet each Monday and Friday for a little chat over a spotty cup of coffee. If you have a spotty cup, bring it on and enjoy a little chat and some zap of spark and motivation, inspiration from me to you. So each Monday and Friday at 8.30 a.m. Brisbane Eastern Standard Time. And I think that's it for today. So let's go forward and be super amazing today. Add wonderful things into your day that makes you happy and pleases you. Do something for you today. So have it water-based. So whether you put your feet in the water, get a bucket with some marbles in the bottom and essential oil and roll your feet over the top. It's a beautiful sensation. Even um, the outside... Um, hose sprinkle a bit over yourself whatever that looks like have a bath have a, a a purposeful shower maybe with a body scrub so cleanse yourself when you're drinking some water today just be mindful when the water is going down it's cleansing you and it's coming from the space of a sparkling heart so i wish everybody amazing sparkling day full of love and blessings and we'll see you same time friday have a wonderful day everybody dr d health entrepreneur Signing out. Bye.